All right, folks, so today we're going to be doing another quick how-to video, and this one is how to install the SNES 9X GX Super Nintendo emulator on your GameCube using the GC Loader and SD to SP2 adapter. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to GitHub, to the SNES 9X GX download page, and I'll leave a link in the description below, and then scroll down until you see the SNES 9X GX GameCube zip download link. So once you get that, just download that file and head over to wherever your downloaded files save. So open up the zip file real quick. And within the zip folder, you'll find the snes9xgx.dol file. That's the only file that you'll need from this zip folder. So you can actually just drag that to the desktop to extract it. Once you've got that file extracted, all you'll need to do is insert the SD card from your SD to SP2 adapter or SD Gecko, if you have one of those, this will work with that too. And drag over the snes9xgx.dol file and also any game ROMs that you may want to add. And they just go into the root of the SD card. So once they're done copying over, you're actually done on the computer and we can head over to the GameCube. Okay, so before we start doing the setup for the SNES 9X GX, we are going to have to check one setting in Swiss. So to get into your settings, just hit the B button, which will take you to the bottom menu. Select the settings option, which is the little gear icon, and press A. Scroll down through the settings and hit next until you get to page 3. And then scroll down to file management and just make sure that that is enabled. If it's disabled on your system, just change it to enabled. And then just scroll down and hit save and exit. Since mine was already enabled, I'm just going to hit discard and exit. But either which way, it'll take you back to the main menu. So now you're back in the main menu, just hit B again to go into the bottom menu. And hit A on the device selection button. So we're going to scroll right until we see SD card SP2. And hit A. And these are all the files which are on your SD to SP2 SD card. So here you'll see the snes9xgx.dol file. So we're going to scroll down to that and hit A to select and then A to load. And that takes us straight into snes9xgx. Now you see there's no ROMs here because the file structure has not been set up on the SD card yet. So what we're going to do is just go straight down to exit and hit A. Now you need to restart your GameCube just by doing a power cycle. So we'll do that real fast. And then we're back at the main GC loader menu. Again, just hit the B button to get to the bottom menu. Hit A to get into device selection. Scroll over to the SD card SP2 option and hit A. And now you'll see on this screen, there's a new directory called SNES9XGX. And that actually has the folders that the software needs to run. What we're going to do next is move the ROM files that we've got in the root of the SD card into that directory. So in order to do that, scroll down and hit the A button on the ROM you want to move. Then hit the Y button, which will bring up device selection again. And since the file is going to stay on the same SD card, we're just going to hit A again. And this will bring up the directory options. So in this case, we scroll down to SNES9XGX and hit A. And then you'll see two more folders, the ROMs folder and the saves folder. So we're going to want to put this in the ROMs folder. So scroll down to that, hit A again. And now we're in the ROMs folder. So what we'll do is press X and we'll get a prompt to say that the file's been moved. So just hit A to continue, and you'll see the ROM file there just disappear from the root of the directory. So now the ROM file's in the ROM folder. We'll go back down to the snes9xgx.dol file and hit A, and hit A again to load. And now when snes9xgx loads, you'll see there on the left, it's showing the ROM that we just moved into the ROMs folder. So we'll hit A to load the game, and now we're playing Super Nintendo games on the GameCube. Fantastic. So like I said, the setup for this is actually really straightforward. The most time consuming thing is moving the ROM files from the root of the SD card to the ROMs folder. But if you do have a lot of games, you can actually plug your SD card straight back into your PC and just copy them straight over. So that will definitely save a little bit of time. But overall, super straightforward. One other thing to note, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can actually use the SD Gecko if you don't have the SD to SP2 adapter. So you have a couple of different options, but the process will be exactly the same. You would just select the SD Gecko as opposed to the SD to SP2 options as you're going through the setup. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please drop us a like and also consider subscribing. It really helps the channel grow. And don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.